them, you can make demons sit down. Because they know you got the power of God. Right. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. When Jesus was on that mountain and he met that devil, that devil said, turn these stones into bread. And I give you the whole world. Now he thought God was a, uh, Jesus was a fool. He wasn't no fool. The Bible said, the earth is the Lord, the moon is thereof, right? Amen. Now, how can you give me something that was already mine? <laughs> you understand? This is how the, the devil comes to you. The devil will have you somewhere. Uh, don't nobody like me, so what? People might not like what I said. So what? They don't like. It. They didn't like Jesus. People been whispering and gossiping ever since it's been a church. When I come into church, I don't say, "Well, what's going on?" I ain't been there. What's going on? I don't do stuff like that because I don't want to hear no bad news. You understand? Praise be to God. And this is what's happening with the folk, and that's the reason why the folk cannot grow. And so it's then got so bad now that they are announcing it now on the radio. People that got hurt in the church come to this clinic. Mm. <laughs> That's bad. I, I don't like the world to hear that. I must tell you the truth. I don't like the world to hear that we are fighting. And we are arguing. Because they say, y'all ain't getting along with them. You'd be surprised when people come to church how they be looking. And they be looking at you. Look and see how you treat them. See how your attitude is. Don't bother me today because I had a bad night. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. I'm, I'm serious. You That's cannot right. do that. You're right. You're right about it. You understand? Praise yes, be to God. When I, when I come to the church and I see the urchins at the door and they greet me, I say, oh, that's a good urchin. That's but right. now they sitting down. Uh, they in an attitude. Your husband that made you mad. Your kids that made you mad. They ain't got nothing to do with the church. That's right. And the problem is that too many people bring their personal problems into the church. Amen. God, and to stay safe before it's too late. You understand? Praise be to God because there's no forgiveness once you die. You can't tell God I'm sorry and all that. He said the day you hear my voice, hard not your heart. You understand? Praise be to God. When I come into church, I want to be renewed. I want to be forgiven by God every day. You don't have no, you don't have to smoke cigarettes and all that drugs, but you need to ask God every day to forgive you. You know, you could have looked at somebody wrong. You could have think at somebody wrong. Praise be to God. But we need to ask God to forgive us. Some of us is holding grudges for way years, years ago. That's why folks got high blood pressure, diabetes, heart problems, and everything. Because they remember what somebody did to them a hundred years ago. <laughs> You understand? Praise be to God. So we got to know that God is on our side. Not what somebody else tell you that God is on. Know for yourself. How do you know? Because you had that personal relationship with the Lord. You understand what I'm saying? Praise be to God. We, we, we got to just lunch out to the deep and tell God to just help us, Lord. Create me like a, 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 a clean spirit. Yeah. Like David said, praise be to God. Because sometimes you can be walking around with the wrong spirit. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Because look, let me tell you something. If I'm working in the kitchen with Brother Hopper and me and him can't get along, somebody is wrong. Somebody is wrong. But you know, he don't have to repent. I am. You understand? And sometimes we do not want to repent. Sometimes we don't want to say, well, you know, if I heard that your feelings or anything and said something to you, I would know and they forget they don't want to do that. No, you was wrong. They're going to say you wrong, but you need to humble yourself and say, okay, I was wrong, though, because God going to make that come manifest. Yes. And that person will come to you and say, you know what? It was my fault. I'm sorry. But you got to be in a position to be humble of that. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. You understand? Praise be to God. Because believe this or not, the false prophets is working day and night. Amen. And they coming right to the church. And you leave the church. So if he taking your wife, he taking your husband, that wasn't yours in the beginning. Amen. You understand, Brady? If I love my wife, can another woman come and take me? Amen. That's already got lust in me already. Amen. You understand, praise be to God. 
But when Jesus met the woman at the well, said you had five husbands. And said the one you went there is not yours. See, a lot of folks is mad, but they ain't with the right one. Because they leave them. They do whatever they want to do. Praise be to God. See, God don't give you something and you sorrow. That's right. So don't. No sorrow. No sorrow. If God give me a car, I got to go to the mechanic every day. <laughs> and I say, God bless me with a car. No, and I'm at the mechanic. Where you going? I'm going to the mechanic. Tuesday, I'm going to the mechanic. It's not wrong with that picture. I get a watch. You keep me crying all the time. I can't have book a guy. I sneak around and make sure she's looking at another man. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. You understand? If you got a, a real man of God, a real uh, a woman of God, you ain't got to miss no time at work. That's right. Or you go to your and your yeah. wife's going to be true to you. Come on. Right. You understand? Joseph did it. He said, I cannot sin against God and my master. Yeah. So he ran. Sometimes you got to run. Yeah. You, got to run. you understand? Yeah. Praise yeah. be to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then that woman lied. He is talking about her. He is some of his clothes right here. He believed that woman because he loved that woman. But it was a lie. But they suffered behind that lie. You understand? Praise be to God. So, saints, let us put on the whole armor. Let us gird our mind to the truth. You understand? Praise be to God. If somebody's preaching the word and I'm gifted what they preach, I just say, I don't tell nobody. I say, I'll tell me to come up. Amen. Lord, did you hear what the... Yep. Be careful yeah. how you talk about preachers. That's right. You understand? If the man of God and the woman of God is not living right, you let God judge that. Because if you do that, you won't be in trouble. The children of Israel, they laughed at Moses. Yeah. And God allowed the bears to come eat them up. You don't fool with God's people. You understand? You bless God's people. And if they do it wrong and they get things from you that they shouldn't, you got to ask them. I was wondering, and a lady was telling me, I said, I wonder why all these folks getting cremated. They ain't no more fields no Very few fields. She said, because they afraid they're going to meet God. I said, well, don't worry. When they die, when they die, God has got that soul already. You burn that body up, you ain't going to burn up that soul. And the word says, Sister Harper, all souls are there. You ain't going to burn up the soul, you cremate. But on the day of judgment, everything you didn't did wrong on this earth, you will get an account of it. You got say it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you cremate me. Yeah, but you, you're not going to ground but you ain't going nowhere. No way. You look in the book of Colossians and say every knee must bow yeah, yeah, and every yeah, 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 yeah. must confess. Yeah, yeah. That means there's no escape. Yeah. Where you coming from? Lord, 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 Lord. Uh -uh. Uh, that's it. Them folks knocked on the door and said, Lord, 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 it was too late. And they drowned. That's why the Lord said, the day you hear my voice, heart is not your heart. The devil telling the young people in the church and out of the church, oh no, you got plenty of time. You ain't got no time. Time is in God's hands. Time is in God's hands. You don't know if you leave the church and you get killed. I remember years ago, a lady, I was at an all-night service. This lady had just left church. A real woman of God, saved and everything. Man hit around on 59th and action. And her blood began to run down the drain. But before the woman died, you know what she said? She said, Lord, whoever hit me, forgive me. You understand? You don't know. That woman had just left the all night service and got killed. We don't know where death is at. We do not know death. You know, two things you don't know. You don't know where the devil is at, and you don't know where death is at. They'll be waiting for you right at that door. They can be waiting at you at your car, at home. You get home, you get bad news. Oh, you have a heart attack. And that's why God tells us, let not your heart be troubled. You understand? Praise be to God. I know on Mother's Day, I seen this poor lady. I went put flowers on my mother's grave. And this poor woman's on the grave just crying, crying. I said, she don't need to be out here. Because, see, what you're doing is hurting yourself. If you go to the cemetery and visit one of your loved ones' grave, you shouldn't go if you're crying because you hurt yourself. 
They don't even know that you are there. You understand? Praise be to God. But some people take some hard and they die themselves. You understand? Praise be to God. But make sure when you die that you are saved. Oh, yes. Because if you ain't saved, you are in trouble. Don't let nobody sweet talk to you. I'm talking about the false prophet. He's telling you, you oh, you, you, you look all right to me. And God said, I'm not pleased with him. But he trying to override God. She trying to override God. And it just don't work. And then something happened to you. You understand? Praise be to God. Be careful what your ears take in. Because a lot of times it doesn't be of God. Do y'all understand what I'm saying today? Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Give your, those who you are not saved, give your life to God. Come in and seek for the Holy Ghost. Praise be to God. Because time and time is running out. We don't know. Jesus might come any day. Any year and everything. Because you know what? God is he, he taking so much now and he's looking at so much and everything. But one day when he get tired, he'll do it like Solomon Gomorrah. Yes. Yes. He said, yes. sin stinks in my nostrils. Yes. And he said this. He said, there are sins that ever come before me. God, gonna, he going to get tired of your sins coming up before him because he going to do something about that. Yes. You think these folks who are married and they gay and stuff, you, God didn't do that. But they will give an account of that. You understand? Because God put Adam and Eve into God. Not Adam and Steve. Amen. Amen. You understand? The devil is yet a liar. He's trying to outdo God, but he cannot outdo God. Before God let the devil out door here kill him. You understand? But he has went out to see many people. And you talk about in the book of Revelation, when the Bible speaks about John speaks about uh, who's worthy, who's worthy. And when he came back to Jesus, he was weeping. He said, Lord, I didn't even find one who was worthy. I want to be worthy. I want to be worthy. And another thing, if I'm not right, I'm not taking no communion. But well, the folks going to want to know, I'm not telling them nothing. I just ain't taking it. Amen. You understand, Amen. friends? And that needs to be explained. Because you drinking a cracker and some juice and you're going to go to hell. You're going to be judged for just doing that. We got to make sure that we are right. And when I take your meal, I say, Lord, I'm not worthy of a copy to be worthy. God want to see that humbleness in you. You're the, oh, yeah, I'm worthy. I'm worthy. No, you're not. You ain't worthy. If God don't make you worthy, you ain't worthy. You understand? Praise be to God. So I thank God. For sharing this scripture with you today, but be aware, saints. Yes, yes, yes. Just be aware yes. of your surroundings. Yes. Who's asking you for different things and doing this kind of stuff? Because see, why I said Paul said come with no gift. It folks said so a seed for a thousand dollars. I send you this by law. My oil is blessed when I when I buy, pray for it, and the ministers get around me. My oil is blessed. I don't have to send you no thousand dollars for the bottle of olive oil. You understand? I'm not knocking what they're doing, but I'm telling you to be aware of that. I say you be aware of that. You understand? Praise be to God. Because like I told you, and I say this here again, when we pray, we don't know who getting the prayer through. We don't know whose prayers God is answering. You understand? Praise be to God. So we cannot judge and say, oh, you ain't about nothing. You ain't about this. You ain't about that. Because we don't know whose prayer that God is listening to. But he wants us to be nourished in the word. And he said, except you come as a newborn baby, designed to sip on the the, the word, you will not grow by there. You understand? Once you fight against the word, you'll never grow. If you're in Sunday school and kicking against the prick, kicking against the word, you won't grow. If you're in Bible class and kicking up against that, I don't have to agree with you, but me, you shouldn't fall out. These folks, some of these folks, I have heard cases I haven't seen. Well, they said, well, I'll meet you outside after Bible class. There ain't none of God. I don't have to agree with you. You don't have to agree with me. But we need to pray and talk about this scripture. You understand? I can tell Sister Alpha, I don't agree with you said in the Bible, but she shouldn't get mad with me and I shouldn't get mad with her. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, I won't come back to the Bible because that is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have the answer. You don't have the answer. So you know what I said? Let's pray. Yeah. 
Right. And God will give you the answer, and He give me the answer, or maybe just give it to the church. That's right. You understand? Y'all pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen